Hello everyone, welcome back to Octopath Traveler. With Key Quest, today we are going to start on the chapter 2 for Hanette. The Amazonian Princess. No, the Huntress of... What do you call it? I forgot her land. Huntress of the Forest. Anyways, you... And anytime you just need help, to give a little elf and a holler. Okay, Alfin. I figured out how, because I didn't, I didn't select the uh, thing last time. I said, you know, I'm going to do a start this time. So in order to start it up, I looked it up, and you just go and go here and click here a tail. So, Annette, you travel to Stoneguard, where you, where your master his antenna was headed. When he penned his first and only letter, and so your search begins. Zantana, it's time to save the... Or find where you are, you old drunkard. The story is so far. And so Hanette set forth in search of Zantana, her master, the closest thing to her, a father she had. Had vanished while pursuing the baleful fiend Red Eye, and the huntress has vowed to find him and bring him home. Dire Wolf Hagen, Dantana's ever faithful companion, has returned to the village but alone. It was enough to make Hanet fear the worst. In the first and only letter he wrote before the spring, Dantana had mentioned the town of Stoneguard. And so Hanet followed her master to the highlands. But to what avail? Hopefully, to find some clues to her master. Hmm, Stoneguard, this is where Master said he would sojourn. Sojourn. It's weird. Well, Hagen, Hagen does. Dost thou perceiveth his scent? Added extra words. <laughs> Something about this place confuseth and troubleth thee, but no matter. Is it the fog boy? It is quite up, dog, said the prophetess. Thou hast done well to bring in us here. Now it is my turn to lead it to the hunt. Lead in to lead in the hunt. Lead in. in, 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 in. But this is a large and sprawling settlement, not like our forest home. Yes, there's a slightly less trees in a place called Stone Guard. Stone Hard? Rawr. That was quite, um, hmm. That wasn't very cat like. I don't know who the voice asks us for that, but I'd work on acting like a cat. Of course, I am not one to talk. My voice acting is terrible as a pistol. <laughs> now, now, child, thou needest not fear. We will ask in thine people. Someone is bound to know thy nest of master. Well. I am glad thou to Greece. Now, where to begin in the search? <laughs> These weird English terms. Weird. So weird. The alehouse, of course. If master is known anywhere in this town, it would be there. Master, are you perhaps partaking of the fermented fruit of the devilly kind? Ye old tavern, we shall go. Welcome. What can I do for you, lassie? Greetings. A bowl of that broth, if thou wouldst, and answer in me a question. All right. The broth is easy enough, an answer for... As for an answer, you'll have to ask the question for I can tell ye I have any. Although, this kind of bowl of broth isn't really a bowl of broth. You see right there, it's a slightly plump turkey. Or chicken. So then... Now hast thou a hunter of named Zantana? I believe he sojourned here some moons ago. That's a reference for months, right? Uh, yeah, I knew him, but I ain't seen him around for a spell now. A spell? Is that like... 
months or days? English terms, old English terms, weird. Already taken to visit a woman named Natalia. She got a house on the eight town. Hey. So then, Natalia, this name is unfamiliar to me. Oh no. Oh, thank you, landlord. Wait, landlord? He's the barkeep. Mm. You don't mind me praying, lass. You don't happen to be his practice, do ye? Yeah? Don't hap Don't happen to be his uh, apprentice? Why did I read as practice? Probably because he's practicing is medicine? I don't know. Yes. I am. Ah. I knew it. Used to talk about you all the time. He did when he was in his cups. My apprentice was nothing like him. Strict and straight as an arrow. Arrows are not strict and straight. They have feathers on them, and they have arrowheads. Those take a many a turn. Some of them even have barbs so that we can't remove them. No time for foolishness. and folly, he'd say. As soon as he mentioned his name, I'd reckon he was one and the same. What you imagine is inscriptional. I probably read that poor. I'll take that as a compliment. I would, I would, he's... Seemed to be well fond. Will you now? Oh, maybe it wasn't a compliment. Was it a compliment? What is it, Hagen? Hagen by Megan. These these voices. Something's happened. Come on, girl. We must follow him. Following in him. Following in him. I also imagine sometimes that the voices are a little bit maybe there's a little bit slower speak as opposed to how I'm speaking, which is pretty quick. Maybe sometimes even slurring. Mm. This bodeth ill. Why ever does Hagen react in, in such a manner? Ah, astute question. If I may post, Hagen is a species of known as the direwolf, yes? It is said that a, since di that a wolf's sense of smell is 100 million times more sensitive than that of man. And amongst wolves, direwolves have the most sensitive noses of all. I would post, post it that were he, when he entered the city, he was overwhelmed by all the smells common to such a bustling city of activity. And yet, of all those odors, he would most sensitive to those he is most familiar with. To wit, hast thou a point? Er, I was just getting there. To wit, he detected a certain scent, namely the scent belonging to. Master, of course, then he must, then we must make in haste. Ah, uh, er, yes, precisely. <laughs> you long-winded old boot. Thou shouldst not listen heart. I will listen to one of the lectures after our job is done. This is like a deal, like an, like an underground deal. Like, look, listen to your crap. As long as you just kind of, you know, for this point in time, just deal with me being... On the straight and narrow, I'll try to get as quickly as possible. Had to find the master. Oi. Oi. Ye mangy beast, go on, bugger off. At your service. My dearest Italia, what a beautiful coincidence. Fancy running into each other. I fancy that. I was just uh, returning from the market. It is an honor. Oh, but what bur burden or shouldering, my dear? You must allow me to deliver it for you. Uh -huh. That is, I'll have my man here do it naturally. No need for a noble to do it. I'm most honored, sir, but you need 
My lady Anne must insist. I uh, could not give forgive myself if you were to strain the muscle. Uh, it's fancy if he's looked up. He probably can't lift Jack. If I try, he's like, oh, I can't. It's too heavy. Horn Manor's worship never gives up. Horn, my honor. His worship never gives up, does he? Right. Town last eight caught the eye of a wrong sword bound to happen with fair er, with air. Fair looks turn every man's head. Jeez. Not so. He's a wolf's dapper in silks and that soldiers of his making sure he don't fall a foul o the husbands and fathers. <laughs> I think he was trying to say uh, that he's dressed in wolf skins and silks and that soldiers make sure don't fall afoul of the husbands and fathers. I'm not sure what to make of that. That's just weird. There ain't no frozen um there ain't no refusing him. Once he's got the set, remember the miller's daughter? That was plain simple. That was, that was pretty it. So that's it, Hagen. Thou knowest this woman, and thou art trying to help in her. Wise creature that thou art, thou hast... Thou seest that she's in trouble. No. I mean, it might have something to do with that, but... And so thou wilt to scare off the soldier. Oh, okay. The soldier's blocking the path. So then... Is that right, Hagen? Ruby, ruby, ru. Then let me help. This bastard is helping. Is being a bastard and he is a dirty old man. I'll kill him. Roar. We'll be with you. Were a fearsome beast to appear before him, that soldier would flee in. A happenstance for which no one could be blamed. Ah, I must provoke him. Oh, let's hear banter real quick, though. The sheer nerve of that man. Thou canst say it that again. Consider yourself warned, and stay well clear of self-centered men. I have little experience with menfolk aside from my master, of course. But thou hast experience in abundance. Pray telling me their ways. Oh no. She's getting bad mouth. <laughs> I suppose I know a thing or two. Alright, there are two kinds of men in this world. Those who devote themselves to their trade or calling and spare little thought for their fairer sex. And those that have no time at all for work, but plenty for pleasure. If that is my choice, I shall take me. <laughs> Damn, Primrose. Why, oh, Hannah, it would seem you don't need my counsel. You know, just because that's the only type of men that ever frequented your establishment does not mean that's the way it is. I mean, was your father one of those types of men? Was he? <laughs> yeah, well, maybe. But no, I don't think so. I think I think I'll leave that for now and next time I'll provoke him. I'm trying to make sure these aren't too long. Let's see a whereabouts. Oh yeah, that's that's plenty. Alright guys. Hey, you know what? If you would do any of these things, like comment, share, subscribe, I would be most appreciative. Or, you know, share out the video. That works, too. I think I said share in there anyways. Kind of just pre-programmed to yell all about. Anyways. Have a good day. Take care.